yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, Jet Pup. Oh, yeah, here, come here. Oh, look at that. Jet Pupper in the house. Okay. Holly, can you Holly, can you tell us what we're here to do today? Pan. <laughs> She's like, oh, we're here to pan. She's been running around, guys. So exciting she could come to Larson with us today. All right, guys, so we are back in one of our favorite places on the whole planet, Larson Motorsports. What we're here to do today is see Jeffrey the Jet in full dress up, full rip. He's actually loaded up on their dyno, the test cell that they have here at Larson, outside. And we are not only just firing him up and idling him like we did with the other jet car, we're gonna turn it up, go full rip, see Jeff the Jet in action before we take him home today. So as you can see, they have an assortment of extremely fast jets here at Larson Motorsports. And I'm telling you, some of them are extremely fast. As you guys know, we are getting a J85, which is one of these units right here. It's a general electric jet engine that's gonna be going on our El Camino project. But our friends here at Larson were like, you can't take this thing home without seeing it at full rip. So. Today, they're gonna fire it over for us, show us some of the basics before we take it back to Tampa. We got the other jet pup rolling up. So then once we get back to Tampa, the install starts. So Chris Larson's actually flying over to Tampa. He's gonna get with ProFab, tell them how the jet needs to be installed, give them some pointers on how the jet needs to sit, be angled, and how it needs to be mounted. And then once we finish up the El Camino, get the LS engine done, that whole drivetrain complete, and have the jet mounted up, Chris will actually come back to Tampa again and fire it up with us for the first time. So it's good to have a professional with you when you're first getting into this. Uh, eventually we'll be able to run the jet by ourselves, but these guys are professionals, they know what they're doing, so they're gonna kind of help us along the way. But enough talking, let's go over to the test cell, check out the jet, see how it's looking, and then we're gonna run it. Then we gotta let it cool down. We're gonna put it in the truck and take it home. I can't believe this is a reality, guys. Thank you guys for the support. The first video did so well. We were like, we have to go through with it. We have to have a jet car. We're back. We're back. You ready to? I think we're ready. Make some power. I'm gonna give it my best shot. <laughs> yeah. I did this one twice before. Yeah. <laughs> so this rig is kind of like your. Okay, so you just turn the fuel on right there. Yep. Turning the fuel on in both okay. of those. One, one for the afterburner, one for the ignition. Yep. And um. Oh, We're yeah. gonna set up a little bit of stuff. This engine's been our t in our test cell for quite a while. Yep. And, uh, this, and this, is is the, this is the old girl we're taking this home, guys. Girl, We're unbolting it and sending it your way Oh, today. yeah. And so we're gonna get this thing running, and it's yep. got about 100 gallons of fuel in there, so we're running for at least. You're gonna find out what fuel consumption's all about. Oh, look no. Look at the size of those fuel lines. So I that's, know. That that's, is... what, uh, that's what you got to look forward to. Uh, we're getting from here, guys. Yep. All the way to the back. We're getting this afterburner yeah, this and everything. Good old afterburner it ran for a long time in our jet cars and uh, so oh reliable it'll be, it'll be reliable and yeah. i think it'll be perfect for your project yeah and so we're gonna lo look for holly we're gonna look for nitro She's, yeah <laughs> and they won't like the noise this is about to make and Nit nitro's <laughs> used to it he grew right. up with it but now real uh, quick can you show me the throttle and the controls we're gonna be yep, using throttle, that's all on the other side okay. yeah and that's oh, this yeah. is pretty simple because we don't have a laptop computer hooked to it right now yep. normally there would be a laptop computer okay. sitting right here it has the most basic engine instrumentation and this is what you'll have in your car as well. Yep. So in addition to the engine, you're going to get set up with all this same instrumentation, so we just wiring get diagrams. EGT and RPM. EGT and RPM. That's right. it. There's a low oil pressure gauge. That's a low oil pressure switch. Is out of you know what it's out of? Yeah. A, oh, a yeah. small block Chevy. Yeah. That's what it's out of. Oh, is it really? Oh yeah. That's <laughs> it. So I'm going to hook you up with some earplugs because you're going to. We're going to want those. So guys, obviously this isn't a brand new jet engine and brand new afterburner, but this is perfect for our project. We don't need brand new top of the line parts. We got a great deal and this is, you know, this is perfect. This is exactly what we need. You're gonna have a throttle control like that. I'm even yep. gonna give you some levers like that. And that throttle control is on a, on a cable right here. Oh, okay. Right this That's where the throttle control right goes to. And if you look at that throttle lever, yep. it's just moving right there. Super yes, simple. Sir. Couple little simple things. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna go around that side, fire up the ignition, do a couple things. I'll walk okay. around this side, we'll pull the trigger on. Oh, it. baby. I've turned the throttle down quite a ways on this. So you're not going all the so way. So I'm not going to go, well, I'm going to go, the, you're going to see it move quite quite a bit, actually. You got the Dodge um, hooked up, though. Dodge is hooked up. The E-brake is set. The E-brakes and the trailer brakes are set, everything's set. So we have it secured. 
tear it down, but now with the afterburner, we'd have to chain it down, you know? Yeah. That's what all the tie-downs on the test cell are for. Okay. We're gonna run the afterburner at low settings, and the engine's only gonna run, I got about 100 gallons of fuel in here, we're not gonna run it very long. Yeah. Just enough to do some basic afterburner adjustments. I do wanna adjust the bypass pressure in the afterburner wow. here for it. And okay. make sure everything runs right. And all right. Just kinda figure it out. We'll Sounds good. I feel like we're ready. Are we yeah. ready? We can handle this. Nothing, no problem. Oh, you were in the car last time. You didn't even get to witness all of this. Look at the batteries, guys. Those are the batteries we're gonna have to have on board. Yeah, you'll need some really big, those are all Group Force, Group 31 batteries, all dry cells. If you have a battery sponsor, make sure you get a big dry cell battery from them. 36 volts is what the starter's gonna take to start. Oh my it. It God. a lot of power, so, uh, but if you don't, definitely. Does it drain forces, them pretty good every start? It does drain them pretty good every time, and we have six of them, so we can do a few starts, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Brute Force. That's a lot of battery. battery brute use. Force. That's a lot of battery right there, guys. That's gonna be a lot of batteries to have on board. Yeah. We should get like a little cart to roll it around too. So if we're at the track and we want to dish some weight, you know, pull the batteries off. <laughs> Here we go. The That's the click that you know it's about to go down. Oh. <laughs> that is the best sound. Every time, it sounds so good. <laughs> that was way different than the idol. <laughs> oh. A lot of, and that's no afterburner. A lot of power. Oh my god! Yep. The amount it was spinning versus what we did the other day. That's that's oh, a that's whole a different ball game. Yeah. That's a whole different ball game. Yep. Oh my gosh! When it spooled all the way, I didn't think it would keep spooling. That was, so I got so I, I got the throttle turned down quite a bit. Right here, I've got the high. Oh, you have a throttle stop. stop. Yeah, so it only goes 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, you got it all the way up. Yeah, and so you got a lot to go. That was only 90-ish percent on the throttle, guys. Did he jump a little bit? Yeah, he's just jumping everything. When it has some RPM behind it that when he's clicking the afterburner. That's it, what I guess fun, I mean, man. Did you feel the power in the throttle as you were going? Yeah, after it's it was crazy. Like that is gonna be yeah. in your hands. It's weird the it. delay. Yeah, there's a little bit of I a mean, lag. Yep, so you wow. gotta get used to it. So usually with an 85, you just have to let it creep up. You know, you're gonna watch your <laughs> RPM gauge. You're yeah. gonna do it in about 10% increments. Oh and my then gosh. until you get full throttled in your rammer all the way forward and <laughs> That was the coolest thing. So kind of get startled, but then it's like a wave hitting you each time Yeah, too, you so. felt like the impact in your chest. But like the other day when you were in the car and it was this idle RPM, like it was shooting the fire, but once he spun it up a little bit and hit it, like a whole different ball game. I saw the whole rig kind of shudder. Yeah, the whole yeah. Dodge is about to take off. Yeah, and the brakes, brakes are set as hard as they can, and the brakes are oh, set man. here, locked up, and there's two wheel chocks up there. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> so obviously, guys, this thing is pretty hot right now, so we gotta let it cool off for a while. We're gonna pull it inside. Then we're gonna unbolt it off the test cell and take Jeff the Jet back to the shop. Getting a new puppy. It is like getting a new puppy. There's no better way to put it, Chris. All what right. do you think, Alan? We're inside, we'll it runs. It's on. a little different with the RPM. Did you see the whole truck shifting forward? So my life shifted. And that was no afterburner when you had it turned up. No afterburner when it was up. If you had the RPM up and you kicked the afterburner, would it move the truck and everything? Oh, yeah. You would have to tie it down. Yeah. Is that what those chain points are? Yeah. Yeah. We tie it down with uh, 10 different points. You got like 10 different points on Yeah. Them. Big heavy chain binders <laughs> out at the airport. That's what they let us do that. Man. There, so, yeah. It started fast. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is. That's, that's, the, that's the power of a brute, brute force, force battery right yeah. there, brother. There was no you delay. have good batteries. Man. Yeah, I mean, it ripped on. You ready for this to be in our control? No. <laughs> we definitely need two keys. <laughs> yeah, we need two keys. We need to keep one with you and one with Holly. One with Alan and yeah. one with me. I should never have both at once. No, it shouldn't be allowed. Dude, it this thing's actually terrifyingly process. cool. Uh, yeah. Like it's on a whole, it's on a level that's far surpasses what we've done prior. Yeah. What this is gonna do for like spectators who come watch us, they're gonna be mind blown. Yeah. Like guys, I can't tell you it's uh, I can't even explain it. Like what they're seeing on video right now is nothing. When you're in person, this thing literally punches you in the chest. They literally like shut down drag strips to run them. Yeah. Like, move everyone from behind it. Like, <laughs> this is the real deal. Like this is some serious stuff. So this is pretty much all I'm gonna have in the car. I think I have an igniter. I've got the afterburner and then the throttle. We're gonna really be ripping. I mean, this thing's gonna have no problem squeezing off 180 mile an hour. Yeah. On e like with exactly. ease. I mean, if their cars do 290, their race cars here. Imagine freaking <laughs> the El Camino doing close to 200. Plus, we'll have the LS engine to run the eighth mile, and then kick it into neutral. Yeah. Oh well, my. Well, because they said that they're kind of a little lazy out of the hole. I know. That's why we got the old. Yeah. We got the LS and the Power Glide. 1260 foot. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna get that one, two, 60 foot, and we're gonna kick on the afterburner. You gotta make sure that thing doesn't pull a wheelie. Uh, yeah, it does a wheelie, hops right up. <laughs> guys, this is insane. So we're gonna let it cool off and I'll update you in a little bit. So guys, we're actually in Elaine's office right now. She's making us measure for a new safety suit. And with all this information we're gonna need, Holly. We actually said we can't yeah. leave until we have these measurements. Yeah, start measuring her. This is for Holly, right? Yeah. You need to get you need to get her height and weight. We don't like to talk about her weight. <laughs> Front legs are sixteen. <laughs> Does get the the snoot. Snoot's about ten, ten and a half. <laughs> yeah, at least those small ones the afterburners off. Coming up off the test cell, it's our Chevy small block oil pressure sensor. Yeah. Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Dang. So we're looking at like a little under 400 pounds right here. Yep, about 360. Okay, yeah. Your max height. Think he's gonna fit? If Cooper lays you think, right where it says so Cooper should lay up there to protect it. Rug. Yeah, I'd rather. We'll put the afterburner in the cab. I mean, we gotta protect the good cargo. Yeah. <laughs> and Holly can lay with me if I have company. Yeah, we'll put Holly okay, back I here. I think we'll keep Holly. Uh, <laughs> <there with> us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is epic, man. We got a brand new starter, though. I mean, this is brand, brand, brand spanking new. Brand new, brand new. Okay. So, no hot starts. You said 
Lay on the starter. Oh, get it started. If it gets hot, you sacrifice the starter for sacrifice yeah. the starter. You okay. <laughs> Otherwise, right. the if starter's coming off to replace what's inside the engine. Yeah. Oh, that sounds bad. Basically, guys, if you're having a hot start, which is where the turbine gets too much fuel, and your EGTs get so hot it can actually damage the engine. And the only way to cool it off during a hot start is to pull the fuel back and just let the starter eat until you get it started. So they say you gotta sacrifice the starter, don't sacrifice the engine. We have a lot to learn, but we're getting there. All right, guys, we think we're close enough. So it's in there, we're gonna put one strap over this thing, make sure it's nice and secure, and then hopefully we can close up the bed, bring the tonneau cover down a little bit, and we're hitting the road with our, our new jet. People aren't even gonna know. Yeah. We got a little ripper back here. <laughs> no idea. We're good. Yeah, she's tough. <laughs> it's in. The, Hey, you're supposed to say like the meme that's been going around? That ain't going anywhere. Yeah, not going that anywhere. ain't going anywhere. It's a required American thing to do when you strap something down, you gotta say, that ain't going anywhere. No matter how good or bad you No matter how, it. yeah, it might not even have any straps on it. You just say, that ain't going anywhere before you start driving and then you know it's good. All right guys, so another thing to note is that we have a bell mouth for our jet that we're gonna have to probably cut up a little bit, make it work over the back of the El Camino. It'll be like this, it'll be a lot like this one that's actually, this is the actual one we're gonna give you. Okay. And it'll just insert down, this is a factory J85. Oh yeah. And it just, it, it fits perfect. We've had this oh, one yeah. where it fits perfect. Damn. We're just gonna take red RTV yep. and seal it in there. We'll, we'll square it so okay. it's really nice. We can kind of cut it as we need and then we'll screen it. And then we're gonna, we're gonna, normally you would run a cone shaped screen because it's, uh, um, it has more surface area, but in your case, we're yeah. gonna run it flat. We'll see how it does. I've never done it before, okay. I won't lie to you. But uh, we'll see if it breathes enough. If okay. it, uh, yeah. Hopefully it does, because we're probably not right. gonna run your engine as hard as some of the others. Hopefully run. it does. Uh, if it doesn't, then we're back to the cone. Okay, right? but, we'll figure uh, it out, yeah. one way or another. Come on, What's what do you up? think of that? Do you like that? She's like, yeah, good. she could weld up yeah. some stuff while you're here if you it need. pretty good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. All right, folks. Well, I got to say I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous because just seeing and feeling how much power our very own jet engine makes, it's, it's nerve wracking. Like I'm so excited, but we're making so much power with this new car. I mean, literally the power to weight ratio is going to be greater than one to one. It's going to have more power than what it weighs. It's, it's gonna be insane. I'm so excited. A very, very big thank you to Larson Motorsports. I can't tell you how much they're helping us out. Not only are they training us how to do this, they're giving us an amazing deal, and they're working with us through this entire process. I mean, Chris is flying to Tampa to come help us set our jet up, get the engineering correct with how we fabricate the car together and so much more. So huge thank you to them, but I'm so excited for this project. So much more to come. I, I don't even know what to say. Like I am speechless. The fact that we're heading home with our own jet to put in our El Camino that's gonna be LS powered with a thousand horsepower on the front and a freaking 5,000 pound worth of thrust jet in the back. It's gonna be ridiculous. So for now guys, thanks for watching Do It For Dale. We will see you later.